You said I could go next door to Jamie's. It's Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> it's always Shark Week. <laughs> Come on. How often do you get a chance to sit and watch TV with your mom? Every night. <laughs> I've got to get a life, Mom. All right, go on. I guess I'll just hang out with my posse, Ben and Jerry. <laughs> I don't get it. Have fun. Mom, can I go ice skating with Kevin? His parents will pick us up and drop us off. What time are they dropping you off? 12.30. 10.30. 30. 11.30? 10.30. 11.10. 10.30? 10.30? <laughs> Dang, Mom, you always win. It's so good to be queen. <laughs> Are you staying home again? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just going to hang out with my posse, Ben and Jerry. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some type of joke? <laughs> Apparently not. Mom. <laughs> about you. You're spending too much time alone. What happened to your social life? My social life is just fine. Sarah Lee and Mama Celeste will be here any minute. <laughs> and ain't your mama's coming in the morning. <laughs> well, why don't you come ice skating? Really? No, not really. <laughs> but I am worried about you. Uh, so, see you at 11. 10.30. Saturday night. No plans again? That is none of your business. And why don't you use your entrance way? This is my living room. And that's my ice cream. <laughs> it was on my side of the freezer. Which side is your side? The side with the ice cream. <laughs> you know, your life is none of my business, but if it was my business, I'd sell it. Uh, you would buy it. I've been telling Marion about the benefits of older women. Looks like he's finally listening to reason. What did you say? I said, it looks like he's finally listening to reason. You know, it's funny, uh, you don't seem old enough to be hard of hearing. <laughs> hey, Coach. <laughs> Jackie, this is Coach. Or Sam until he makes you run laps. <laughs> coach, this is Jackie. Jackie? Oh, hello. So you work for the Raiders? No, actually, I teach Jim at Marion's old grade school. I used to coach for the Rams. Then I moved up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't get it. Am I missing something? Jackie, from where I'm standing, what you ain't got, you don't need. <laughs> then I'd appreciate it if you'd stand somewhere else. <laughs> We're just messing around. Come on, coach. We're going to be late for the fight. Say, so, yeah, we'll see you later, huh? You want to go with us? Oh, no, thanks. I'm busy. I see. Double date with Ben and Jerry, huh? <laughs> ben and Jerry, that's hilarious. You should go on Def Comedy Jam. <laughs> hey, Mary. Have I ever showed you pictures of mom? Did I ever ask to see pictures of your mom? <laughs> This was our old house in Martha's Vineyard. Oh, that's Mom in the garden. Oh, this was us in Aspen. Mom's a great skier. This was us at the family reunion in Chicago. Obviously, we're on the road to somewhere. Since it appears I'm along for the ride, I'd like to know where we're going. Marion, I'm worried about Mom. Mm -hmm. She's spending too much time alone. She hasn't been out with a guy since the divorce. I'm sympathizing. I'm sympathizing and I'm looking for a way out of what I think you're about to ask me to do. <laughs> Mom needs a man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not saying you 
the data yourself, just, just that maybe you could introduce it to your friends. Please, Marion, she's really low. Hey, it's great that you're looking out for your mom, but it's important to me to keep my personal and work life separate. Marion, once she gets out there, she'll see how much fun it is, and maybe she'll get motivated. Don't you people have relatives? <laughs> please, Marion. Pretty, pretty, please. Okay, okay. <laughs> but just this once. Okay. Thank you, Marion. You're going to make mom really happy. Hey, I just said I'd take her out of the house. I didn't say I'd make her really happy. <laughs> So, how was your night last night? Why? Just wondered. Why? You know, Jackie, there's a whole world out there beyond the couch. What are you getting at? Look, Jackie, I as much as anyone understand the need for solitude, but the tantric Buddhists tell us that one cannot achieve a higher plane without first mastering the temporal one. Do the tantric Buddhists tell us what that means? Basically, <laughs> use it or lose it. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that maybe you need to get out there. The universe will sense that you're ready and bring the right person to you. The universe sent me my ex-husband. I'm not speaking to the universe. <laughs> There's a place in Venice. Nice crowd. You'd like it. Tell you what, I'll take you there. You're asking me out? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm glad we agree on something. <laughs> Look, it's not my idea. It's Tiffany. She's worried about you. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm going to really feel bad grounding her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what harm is it going to do? I can't. I don't have a sitter. I know a good one. Relax. It'll be fun. Yeah, but I've got so much baggage. I know. Some guys like a little extra baggage. <laughs> talking about kids, age, divorce. Well, I'm sure some guys like that, too. Yeah, right. I'm sure they'll be lined up around the block. Hey, you're a very attractive woman. If you were 15 years younger, you'd be my number one. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> I'm flattered. Okay. Which one of you is pregnant? <laughs> Mom, this is serious. It's about your date. A lot of things have changed since the last time you dated. A lot of people have walked on the moon since the last time I dated. <laughs> That's why we've called this family meeting. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's very nice. First, okay, some basics. Now, you've never dated in my lifetime, so you're probably a little anxious. <laughs> but playing hard to get makes guys more interested. Why? We never played hard to get in the 70s. Mom, if you don't pay attention, you're going to be in your 70s and still not have a date. <laughs> That's why you need some practice. Now, Austin, come on. Make your move. <laughs> Hey, Mama. Come here often? <laughs> Take me, I'm yours! Mom. Well, it's just too cute to resist. I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, now, I know that talking used to be how you got to know a guy. That's changed? Completely. Oh. Now, if you want to connect with a guy, you've got to dance with him. Oh, well, no problem. I can bump and hustle with the best of them. So, <laughs> Mom, the, the dances are different now. <laughs> Have you heard of the Tootsie Roll? The little brown things that rip out your feelings? <laughs> <laughs> the Tootsie Roll is a dance. It's easy. Come on. Okay, okay so follow me. have been so down on conversation. No, no, no. I'm going to do this tonight. <laughs> but I'm probably going to do 
do it more like this. Not that I care, because I don't at all, but with that in mind... You I'll... look like a million bucks. Really? Really. <laughs> That'll be the center. <laughs> that will not be the center. <laughs> What's the matter? I brought my own beer. <laughs> Nothing's the matter, Coach Jack. You want to step into my office? What's your problem? I don't think he's reliable. Reliable? I've known Sam for 16 years. He always looked out for me, and he'll look out for them. Now, you can cut him and yourself a break, or you can disappoint your daughter and spend another Saturday night watching a Flowbee commercial. <laughs> it's your call. There's still some ice cream in the freezer. Oh. <laughs> Sam? I, uh... Just want to thank you for doing this. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head. Everything's gonna be just fine. Night, kids. Night. All right, which one of you kids can drive a stick shift? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this place. I like this place, and I feel good. Tip number one, don't talk to yourself. It scares guys. In fact, it scares all people. Sorry, I'm just trying to psych myself up. Tip number two, don't psych yourself up. Just be yourself, and you'll attract the right person. This is from the table by the wall. What'd I say? That is so sweet. I like this place. <laughs> it's been a while since I dated. <laughs> Thanks, girl. I think it was for me. I want to go home. <laughs> Don't get stressed. It'll be fine. Just give yourself a little time. Hi, aren't you Marion Hill, the football player? No, I'm his brother, the convicted felon. Oh. <laughs> so, what were you in for? I don't want to be rude, but I'm kind of with someone. Oh. I'll meet you outside. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should have worn my other hat. <laughs> for him? The lady over there. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. Doing what? Being attractive. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to be on your side. It's not like you're helping any. What are you talking about? I mean, it wouldn't kill you to loosen up your body language. Are you trying to meet someone or are you guarding the temple of doom? <laughs> is that better? Maybe the problem is guys think you're with me. I'm going to give you a little breathing room. Don't go too far. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Mama, what's your name? I'm not your mama. And if I was, I wouldn't let you out the house dressed like that. That jacket went out with the OJs. So you want to go to breakfast later? <laughs> ever again. Hey, Mama, what's your name? Bob Marley 